notes. So it's been a while since I performed here. Uh, I had a beard then. I had a beard shaved since then, and then I sh got another one, and I shaved it again like yesterday. So if you see me anywhere else, I probably had a beard. Um, so I'm going to start by uh, doing a little bit about my dad. So the other day we were eating. We were getting ready for breakfast, and he loads up his plate like he normally does, and I see that he's kind of like judging it like, like he's never done it before. Like he's like, ooh, this is gross, and I'm like, we eat this all the time, like, what's up? And he puts some back, and I asked him, hey, why'd you, like, that's no more than you usually eat, why'd you put more back? He's like, why do you care? And I was like, I'm just asking. And he goes, well, I have to save room for my pills. And if I ever get to the point where I have to physically eat less so that I can take my medication, I'm gonna take all my medication at once and fucking just <laughs> out. Like, like, I enjoy eating too much to, like, physically set aside calories for fucking like metformin and shit, you know? Like, I just didn't get it. I was like, that's physically crazy. And then I seen him start pulling shit out. And he, f it's like fucking, I gotta get him a filing cabinet for his pills because it's like absolutely crazy. He's got like a pill for everything. And then if he doesn't have something, he's got a pill to fix it for when he does get it. He literally pulled out a tote, like a clear plastic tote you slide under the bed out of sight, out of mind. And it is to the top with pill bottles. And I was like, what's all that? And he's like, a month's worth. That was pretty eye-opening. I didn't realize my dad was in such bad shape. The heart attack could have told me that this year, though. That's, that's a true story. He had a heart attack this year, like a few months back. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. I had to drive to the hospital in the snow. I had a two-wheel drive car with fucking rear wheel. Woo! Like Tokyo Drift in Medford. So... Still working on that one. I'll do something else. I already got one. So every guy in the house right now is going to totally know what I'm doing, but all you girls might be a little confused. Okay, just bear with me. I'm going to set the mood. You're in a grocery store. You've been working all day. It's about a nine-hour shift. You're a little bit late. you got to grab something for the missus before you get there, and you also want to drink for yourself, so you grab yourself a beer. But then you start going down the cereal aisle, and you realize there's something that is uncomfortable, and then you do this, right? Now see, a dude laughed, but no females laughed. That's exactly what I was talking about. What I did there was, when you're a man and you have some dangly parts, Woo! if you're a nice guy and you shave them, they're more apt to do this. If you're a dick, you don't really worry about that that much. <laughs> but if it's all clean shaven and you've been working all day and you've got some of your own glue saved up and it's all betwixt and you got the little bit of grease you get, you know? They'll stick in the most unpeculiar way to the side of your leg, and walking is then impossible until you take an extra long step. Another thing that guys are relatable to is getting ready in less than 60 seconds. I can wake up to work at 9 at 8.45 and be dressed and at work in three minutes at any given time. So the other night, me and my girlfriend, we had time to ourselves. The kid was at her parents' house, so... Naturally, we did what every other couple does and actually went out. Not usually what we do, but so we, were got, we, had, we had something we were doing at 7. She starts getting ready at 4, and the whole time she's getting ready, she's getting mad at me for not getting ready. And I tried to explain to her that I'm literally going to put a shirt on, put some shorts on, and slip my flip-flops on, and I'm going to walk out the door. And she was mad about it, like... Like, I need extra steps. I'm like, okay. And she's like, she's like, well, don't, you should do more stuff. And I'm like, okay. You get ready like I get ready, and I'll get ready like you get ready. And you tell me all the extra steps I'd missed. And I called her bluff, and I was, she's like, okay, fine. And I was like, okay. I was like, this is what I was going to do. Now add shit to it that I need to do. And she was stunned. She had no idea. She's like, I can't. If it, your, your wallet's in those pants. You don't even got to grab that. You just put your fucking pants on. My flip-flops were by the door. My phone was in my other pocket. So that came up later in conversation at her friend's house. We were all sitting around the uh, hookah, and we were smoking, and uh, I did, like, the minimalist approach, like, three holes in the hookah. You don't need more than that. And she goes, well, don't, isn't there more steps? And I'm like, mm, well, lighting the coal, of course. And she goes, no, don't you have to do more to that? And I said, no. And she goes, why not? I'm like, because it works this way. She goes, well, it works the way I do it. I'm like, yeah, but I made it work faster, so I'm more efficient. So later on in life when I have a job that you also have, you'll get fired and I'll take your position. 
And then we fought the rest of the night with no kids, so we didn't even have to worry about yelling and scaring that, so that was awesome. Freaking dope, dude. I love screaming at people for no reason over a fight that didn't even have to happen. So me and this guy, we're hanging out at my house one time, and we partake in cannabis. And, uh, oh, I know, heinous, right? Anyway, so we bought some snacks. We preemptively bought snacks. We knew we would need them. And we were kind of sitting around hanging out. We were doing dabbles. And he handed me a Hershey's bar. Before I ate it, I had to heat up his nail for him. And then he gets back to me and I started heating mine up. He's like, you should dab that Hershey's bar. (laughs) If you guys do anything with cannabis, do yourself a favor and dab a Hershey's bar. It is like dabbing s'more flavored awesomeness. It doesn't even hurt. Doesn't hurt. You can do as much as you want. I'm fairly certain it's not harmful to your health. Don't quote me on that. I obviously am not the healthiest person alive, but I eat Hershey's, so. So it was one time when I was like six. I think I was like six. Might have been seven. I was in the trailer park that I lived in until I was probably an adult. So anyway, so we always had these UPS guys that would, we had a lot of like people that I guess watched dirty movies because there was constantly UPS trucks rolling through my trailer park. And uh, I was into Roger Rabbit at the time, so I was constantly watching that movie. And there's a scene where Eddie Valiant chases down a trolley and hitches a free ride on the back by sitting on the back. And I always wanted to try that. And if you ever seen the back of the UPS truck, they got a little lip with, like, really, really fine metal on it. Well, back in the day, when I was younger anyway, you let your kids, you know, they were just like a cult. Like, every kid, le- it, was, it was a universal thing. You left your house at a certain time. Your parents didn't expect you back for a certain time. And if you came back in between there, for some reason they had like this huge aggression towards you. So you'd like stay the fuck out. You'd be like, no. My mom said 7.30. They fucking better stay out till 7.30. And we'd all go fucking throw bodies at like dead cats on the side of the road and shit. But uh, so one day I'm at my friend's house and my friend's like, yo, dude, I got a package coming to my house on the street. And he told me it was coming that day. So I was like, all right, dude. If he stops at the front of the trailer park, I'm going to jump on, I'll ride him to your house, and I'll bail off. And he's like, all right, bro. He's like, I think he's coming. And I'm like, okay, bro, here we go. And I waited, and I fucking hid behind the tra- or like trash can and just waited. And he finally stopped, and he ran around the other side, and I jumped on the back, and I was in. Now, the problem was, Kai's bad at math, and he got two-day shipping a day earlier. So it didn't stop at his house. I ended up riding this UPS truck horrified by the way because nobody drives through a trailer park safe they don't give a shit about how many slow kid signs there are he had no more packages for five blocks and i rode on the back and people were like tailgating him like what the fuck like, trying to stop him and i'm like i fucking don't know i'm just like clinging clinging to what i'm sure is going to be the last moments of my sanity in life at the same time and i'm barefoot because i'm fucking six because i'm stupid So now I'm five blocks from my house in White City, which is like the star thistle capital of the world, as well as goat heads in second place. And I've got to walk home barefoot, and it's hot, and it's all concrete, and I'm in White City, so I have to avoid gangbangers and all sorts of other shit, and I've seen like two drive-bys. It was cool, though. I stopped and threw some rocks at that dead cat, so (laughs) at least there was that. I mean, you know, it's pretty sweet. (laughs) It was a new dead cat. That one was orange. (laughs) So I worked in a dispensary for a minute, and I feel like that's, if you want to know the diversity of any kind of demographic, work in a dispensary. I've seen people with fake IDs that were super young come in, but i also seen like a 98-year-old woman come in for the first time in her life ever smoking cannabis. And she bought the strongest shit I had. <laughs> the strongest. And she ate it all in a night, and she came back the next day and bought five more. And I asked her, how did you eat all that and not die? And she goes, do you have anybody in your family that's sick? And I said, yeah, my dad just suffered a heart attack. And she goes, you seen his medicine cabinet? And I was like, yep. And she goes, you don't get sick anymore. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Can we all just give it up one more time for Leland Tyson? Come on, Leland.